Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we will know about the corneal clouding. Here in this baby, there is loss of corneal transparency. But the newborn is asymptomatic or may have ocular or systemic anomalies. With maternal history may suggest prenatal exposure to a pathogen, etiopathogenesis, genetic, developmental, metabolic and idiopathic factors are implicated as the pathophysiologic basis for congenital clouding of the cornea. A common reason for congenital clouding of the cornea is congenital glaucoma. Differential diagnosis Differential diagnosis may be congenital glaucoma, infections like herpes simplex type 2, rubella, Neisseria gonorrhoeae. There may be birth trauma, dermoid tumors, pitter anomaly, sclerocornea, congenital hereditary endothelial dystrophy, metabolic disorders like mucopolysaccharidosis, cystinosis, etc. Investigations Investigations are done by slit lamp examination, indirect gonioscopy, photo screening, tonometry, A scan ultrasonography, and further tests based on clinical suspicion. Treatment Treatment is primarily surgical. After surgery, treatment of amblyopia and optical therapy can be helpful. Prognosis Visual prognosis is guarded. Amblyopia is common. The earlier keratoplasty is performed, the better likelihood of preventing deprivation amblyopia. Mortality may be increased because of systemic congenital anomalies. Thank you for listening to me. Please like, share and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.